hello guys so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to install the need for speed special edition game on a modern operating system like windows 10 so basically this game was made for older operating system like windows 95 or 98 or the microsoft dos operating systems so if you try to install the game on a modern system like windows 10 it would it will refuse to install for example here it gives the error message Sorry, you need 5372k mode to run install program. Please refer to the reference card on how to free more memory. But I have over 16 gigs of memory. So you can clearly see that the problem is not with your PC but with the game itself. So to fix that problem, we need to run the game in DOS mode. For that, you need to download a software known as DOSBox and install it. So for installing the games, you need to set a uh, set some commands in the dosbox application i am going to put that commands up here now and i am going to explain it to you so after you open the dosbox application you need to uh, set drives for the dosbox application for example we have c drive d drive e f g similarly for the dosbox application it will create a separate dos environment and you also need you also need drives for uh, to keep the game and to insert the cd rom of the game so now we are going to set uh, keep a hard drive sc in dosbox so for that type mount c it will create a hard drive with the c drive letter and you need to select the path uh, where you want to keep the files of the c drive of dosbox application so we want to keep the files of the c drive inside d drive nfsse folder so every file that will be put inside the C drive of DOSBox will come to this location DNFSSE. So we are going to uh, set that place now D slash NFSSE. So now we have mounted the drive. Now you need to mount the CD-ROM of the game. So for me it is the drive letter J. So you need to set, mount, uh, set a different drive for DOSBox. I am going to set it uh, D drive mount D j colon slash so now you need to define that it is a cd-rom for that you need to type t dash t slash uh, sorry dash t cd-rom so now cd-rom is defined now we can start installing the game for that you need to change the drive letter to d because it is where the cd-rom is located inside dos box now type install d it is the dos file for the game for installing the game install D. So now the game setup has started. Click on the install button. From this menu, choose this Sound Blaster 16 slash 32 slash AUW 32 option and click on test sound card. the sound test is now over now click on done option click on test video You can see that the video is not running properly, it is corrupted. So we will fix this issue in a later part of this video. You just need to keep uh, watching this video to find the place where we are going to fix this problem. So now we are going to set the installation path. So a few minutes ago I told you that the game is going to uh, keep the files inside the d slash nfsse folder. So if we keep the nfsse folder uh, again. In the path name it will create another nfssc folder ins inside this folder so we are going to remove the nfssc folder name from here the game will directly install to this folder nfssc so now we are going to set what we want to install go to custom install option choose every option that you need i'm selecting all the options Now click on the done option 
after then click on done again it will ask for operating directory click on yes proceed with installation yes so now the game is installing let's wait for a few moments The installation is almost over. So the game has installed successfully. So you can now see if the game runs. Click on quit and yes. Click on any key. So now the drive is automatically changed to C drive. So now click on the uh, type NFS. For fixing the corruption of the video, you need to download a software known as UNI VBE. Full form is Universal VESA BIOS Extensions. I will provide the link for it in the description below. So what it does is basically install a driver that corrects the color palette of the game used by the game. So if if you use any version older than version 5.0 or uh, younger than 5.0, then you may cause you may face problems. So I am going to put the version 5.0 file for you. So for now, you need to install the file in the NFSSC folder. You need to extract the file. So the file is extracted. Now you need to launch the UNIVB file every time you launch the game. So we are going to set the commands again. Mount C. DNFSSE. So the game will run from here. Now we need to mount the CD ROM. So we mounted both the uh, mounted both the CD and CD ROM and the DVD drive. Now we need to run the game. For that, change to C drive again. Now open the UNI VBE file. Press any key to continue. Now open the NFS file. option now go to dosbox 0.742 click on this option options now if you go below to machine you will see that the machine name is set to svga underscore f3 the machine is not supported by the uni vb file it is the version 5.0 of the file it only supports up to uh, svga paradise so i found that svga 84000 and 3000 are the best options so I am going to set it to SVG 3000. You can set it to 84000 or Paradise if you want. These three will work properly. It is 3000 for the Paradise. This will cause issues up to SVG S3 and this VESA annual FB and old VB drivers. This will cause problems. So select any option from here. It is 3000 to Paradise. After that, you need to save the file. I am clicking CTL plus S. Now we need to launch the game again. Set the commands. Okay. 
Change to C drive. Open any VBE. Now open NFS file. So now I'm going to show you a couple of more options. If you open the configuration file again and go to output here, you will see that the possible values of it are surface, overlay, OpenGL, OpenGL, NV, and D draw. If you change the output to OpenGL, then the game will use OpenGL renderer for output. And then if you choose the full resolution option here, or it is set to original. If you change it to desktop, it will increase the re resolution of the game. I am changing it to desktop. It will uh, basically create a create a letter box here and it will run in the native resolution of your computer. So we are going to run the game using OpenGL now. For that I am going to open MSI Afterburner. Now we can run those box. I am switching it to full screen now. In the top, you can see that there is a GPU temperature usage, there is memory usage, CPU usage, RAM usage, and you can see that the OpenGL is showing the FPS that is being uh, that the DOS box is rendering at. It is rendering at 9 FPS, so we can clearly say that OpenGL is working in DOS box. So the game uh, can now run using the OpenGL renderer. We are going to run the game with OpenGL now. 
please note that every time you run the game you need to set these commands again and again you can also reduce the process for this i'm going to show you this at the later part of this video but for now we are uh, we are going to finish this opengl part also remember that you need to open the uni vbe file every time you open the game otherwise the problem of the video will persist again and again let's skip it ago i said that you can set the uh, dot box application to every uh, to launch the game every time you run it for that open the configuration file and go to the end to this line you can put your mount lines here go to next step now you can type the commands that we type every time before running dot box uh, sorry before running the game so we type the these commands mount c Remember that if you set the commands here and then open DOS box, it will run, run this command every time you open open the DOS box application. So if you want to use any other application or DOS box, you need to remove these files. So we are putting the commands that we put in DOS box application to run the game. So now we are saving this file. Click on any key. Let's exit. So you can see that the game is working with these commands. Please note that if the uh, drive letter of your cd rom or dvd rom or vd rom or whatever is something else than j then you, you need to change this drive letter option here too for example if it is h or i then you need to change it to the h i or any options that you get for the drive letter for example if it is in this uh, cd drive h then you need to change it to h and if it is in vd rom type j or k or anything then you, ne you need to change it to j k now if you want to change the uh, if you want to open dos box without this command you need to remove the files again and then save it so you can see that the uh, dos box is working without the commands so now we are going to put the uh, files again so we are going to put the lines again and save it so the dot box is executing the commands. So this is for the video guys. If you like the video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe video for uh, hit the subscribe button for more videos. Subscribe to the channel for the future and for as always stay tuned and goodbye.